Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm talking about how to keep spray ink bottles from clogging. I finally found an answer from somebody that makes perfect sense. And it was kind of like one of those, duh, why didn't I think of that before? Or why didn't somebody tell me this? And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, who did I learn this from? I learned this from the Marabou Art people when I was down at Creativation. I asked them really bluntly and directly, how do you keep spraying bottles from clogging? The stuff that they've got, this art spray, it's an acrylic spray. And what that means is once you spray it and it dries, it's dry, it's permanent, it's not going anywhere. So that if you get something on top of it, it's not gonna re-wet it, it's not gonna reactivate it, which is nice when you're putting layers on mixed media. So here's what they told me. First and foremost, the first time you use it, you gotta shake it for 60 seconds. Now, I have no sense of time, so after about 10, 15 seconds, I'm like, are we done? So I actually had to set a timer on my phone for me to do it for the full 60 seconds. And that ball, that's what you wanna hear rattling around. That's helping mix up the pigment getting all around in there. That's what you want is to have it completely mixed up. And of course, once you go, whoops, I just took that lid off, we'll grab a different one here. And when you go to spray it, you just spray it at an angle. But the part that blew my mind for what to do to keep it from clogging was when you're done playing, turn it upside down and spray it a couple of times until it's empty. And I thought, well, that makes such sense. I do that with spray paint. I know to do that with spray paint. Why didn't I ever think to do this with spray inks? Brilliant. And of course, she's also said, if you have any kind of, you know, spray ink here, just kind of wipe it off from there. If ever the cap itself gets clogged, just soak it in water for a while. And then that tends to clean it out and you can put it back on. And I'm just like, wow, the whole turn it upside down and spray it. Well, that pretty much rocked my world and made the entire trip worth it because I have managed to clog so many spray inks over the years. And it makes sense if the stuff's staying in the nozzle that it's eventually gonna you know, get stuck in there. Well, now you know how to keep these things from clogging. Let's see what these things are like when playing with because I wanna build some collage paper that I'm gonna use in an art journal later. So that's what I'm gonna use these sprayings for. Now I could shake just one at a time, but why? I like things to go as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna shake all of the bottles all at once. Let's pretend that was 60 seconds. And by the way, I actually did that off camera so you wouldn't have to wait. And now what I'm gonna do is use a stencil to make some collage paper. Now you can use just about anything to make collage paper. And the paper that I'm using here is actually a very thin paper, which means it's gonna be super easy to glue into my journal. Now, where did I get that paper? It's actually the insert from the Tamiflu that I recently took. You can probably still hear that in my voice. I will say about a week ago, I actually sounded completely like Wolfman Jack. So this is a huge improvement. Now I'm gonna hit these with some spray inks and then I'm gonna flip the stencil over. That way I've got all of the spray ink being used and I'm gonna use a paper towel just to roll over it. That way I've got good contact between the stencil and the paper. That way the ink can then grab onto it. Now I totally forgot to mention that this stencil is called a Trio of Thorns that I created for over at Stencil Girl Products. And notice how I'm mixing the colors on the stencil. I'm letting some of the colors overlap. So I've got some of that beautiful pink, some of the blue, and that's gonna create some purples in there. And yep, I'm gonna flip that over so I don't waste a thing. Now I am extra heavy handed when I use sprayings. I love it when it's juicy and things bleed and run and move around. Now the colors as they all mix together there on the stencil, they sort of mute up or darken up just a little bit. If I want super, super vibrant, then I just, spray just that color by itself but I can't even let those go without some mixing by putting the blue and the green or yellow right together I started to get a little bit of green and again like I said I'm pretty heavy-handed with this because I love the drips I love the runs I love when the color mingles and goes here and there now I could totally stop at any point but this is just a lot of fun so I'm gonna put a little more of the pink here right on top now I could line the stencil up carefully if I wanted, but nah, I'm just gonna slap it down and get some more color on there. Now once this color is completely dry, it's not gonna reactivate, it's not gonna blend, it's not gonna move, it's gonna be permanent. That way when I go and glue it into my art journal, everything is gonna stay just the way it is. So now I'm gonna follow Marabou's advice and what I'm gonna do is spray the bottle upside down until nothing else comes out. 
Now, as I'm doing this, I don't want to waste any of that gorgeous color. So I'm doing some very random sprays here onto an art journal page. And when I say random, I'm not kidding, because when you're spraying something upside down, it is tough to control exactly where it's going other than the general direction. Well, thanks for joining me for a little bit of spray ink play here today. And now you know how to keep spray ink bottles from clogging. Now, what am I going to do with these pages? Well, once they're dry, I'm going to put them into an art journal. And if you'd like to see what I do with it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have my next video out. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.